I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, a road traffic uh, network that I developed as part uh, of our work uh, for a client who wanted, wanted to understand the effect of the various parameters such as the car arrival rate, the velocity of each cars, the different type of cars and the traffic signal duration at an intersection at a newly uh, introduced intersection within that plant within the manufacturing plant and what uh, effect those um, uh, parameters have on the overall network uh, condition. So um, we had an intersection where uh, we have uh, the intersection of roads as well as the railway um, uh, tracks and we have traffic light to um, to control the condition uh, of the cars in the intersection. Uh, we have given the control to um, the user as well to minimize and maximize um, or, or, or alter the uh, duration of the green signals at each side of the intersection. And then we can see the effect of uh, changing those uh, on the um, on the on the uh, traffic flow at the intersection. So um, if we run the model. So this is a 3D view of the intersection where we would see that the uh, cars would be flowing based on um, based on the signal. And uh, 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 after the locomotive arrives at the intersection, the cars will be stopped at the signal and they will be proceeding after the locomotive passes the crossing the intersection. So um, if you see over here and then um, again the cars will be uh, just, um, resuming on the intersection. We can check in the density of the cars at each point stance so that uh, we can see where the traffic congestion is happening and we can take a decision accordingly. Um, so yeah, and we can see the working uh, with a moving camera as well. So we can see the um, intersection from different angles. Uh, we see that um, uh, we have a slider which uh, we can control um, uh, uh, for the duration of the green signals on each side. So if we uh, increase or decrease, the, um, we can see that the number of cars uh, being exiting the model uh, changes accordingly. We can change the slider as well so to increase the duration of the green signal in this and we can see the effect of uh, number of cars. We can also see the statistics here. So we see that the number of cars in the system uh, at a particular instance and then the, the number of times, uh, the average number of times a car has to stay, is stopping. In the remote network, we see the average speed and then the average time in seconds uh, in, uh, for, the, for a car in, a, for, in the system. Our objective is to minimize the uh, the time in system a car spends so that we can actually reduce the congestion in the network in the intersection so over time we see that okay at a particular uh, moment uh, the average speed reduces uh, however uh, we see that okay um, the average speed picks up after uh, after some time So um, uh, we can uh, we have seen this one and we can see the logic also how the logic is being built uh, in any logic. So that's all I wanted to um, demonstrate in this and uh, thanks and I hope it will help you modeling um, uh, you in uh, in your organization. Thank you.